Welcome back to Jerry's Kitchen. Today, we're going to prepare chicken al rollantini. Very be simple and easy steps. All right, let's look at the ingredients. Eggs, prosciutto cotto, two chicken cutlet, breadcrumb, mozzarella, ricotta, ricotta. Let's dive in. First thing we do, we're going to beat on the eggs. Once they have eaten, you take a little hammer, tenderize the meat a little bit. Once it's nice and tenderized, we're going to put some prosciutto, cotto, which is ham, imported from Italy. Remember, guys, try not to put too much salt because the ham always has a little content of salt, okay? Chop some French basil. Put it right in the middle. Okay, a little parsley. A little black pepper. Okay, now at this point, we're going to get ricotta and we're going to mix it with the mozzarella. I got shredded mozzarella and ricotta. And I'm making it a little paste, just like that, nice and thick. And so it doesn't, when we fry it, it doesn't uh, tend to split out. So one spoon, put that in the middle. Another spoon, put that in the middle. Okay. All right, guys. Ricotta is in the middle. All the prosciutto is in. What we need to do is fold tail and roll. Tail and roll. At this point, we tuck in whatever is leaking out. We're going to get a little bit of white flour. And we're going to, if it's folded this way, we're going to turn the opposite this way and it should look like that always fold the opposite of what you rolled in at this point the way we have seasoned bread you can use whatever season in the, in the supermarket for seed that means fine if you want to use your own you mix your own i'll teach you how to mix your own and right now let's put her in the egg And after the egg, we're going to batter it. And once we batter it, we let it rest a few minutes. And I'll tell you why. The egg, the flour, and the breadcrumb are going to create a paste. So when you fry, you don't lose your contents. Right, there you go. Now, I change my gloves. Okay. All right, now I have my oil here. I say about 375 feet, 400. And once we get that nice and hot, we're going to give it some sear. All right, so if we look at where the joint is and we put the joint in the bottom guys be very careful when you put this in the oil i suggest if you're a little afraid grab it by the tongue and just place it down grab it by the tongue and place it down come closer guys come closer watch this simple and easy see how quick now you guys are wondering Wow, that cooked pretty quick. Don't you think it's raw inside? Yes, it is. This is why now it's gonna go bake in the oven. So we're gonna get a little metal plate. We're gonna put the sauce in the bottom. We're gonna grab chicken roll and kiwi. 
little parsley. Now, when you put your sauce, don't hide the beauty of it. It's very light, just like that. So you get to see the beauty of the chicken roll and tea. We're gonna bake this in the oven at about 400 for about 10, 15 minutes. We'll be back with our cutting and show you how great and delicious this will be on your dinner table. Be right back. Welcome back. Here's the uh, product. Chicken roll and tini. We baked it in the oven. It looks beautiful. Come and look. Look at that creaminess inside. Let's do this with a little bit of bow ties. So we're going to plate the chicken roll and tini. We don't throw away, oh, look, look at the cheese, guys. Look at the cheese coming out. Look at that, look at that, look at that. I'm gonna put the same sauce on top. Now, if you guys like, you can put mozzarella on top. I like to put grilled cheese, and I'll tell you why. When you put the mozzarella on top, and then you serve it, you must heat it, you must eat it hot completely to you to cut and pull the mozzarella. If it stays a little bit on the on the cool side, which is the mozzarella is on the top, when you cut in or when you pull, the the cheese will start hardening and you'll pull the, all the mozzarella out. So I'm gonna leave some piccolino romano on top. I got a hot skillet. I wanna put some little bit of garlic, butter, olive oil. I'm going to put some salt. Both sides. I'm going to chop a little bit of basil. I'm throwing in some basil. And watch this, guys. Stop from the middle, work your way in the way down. Voila. Cooking at Jerry's, chicken roll and teeny, bow tie pasta marinara. Come on, come and enjoy. Ciao.